Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So I don't actually know who sang this track originally, but I know who produced it. His name is Giorgio Moroder, and I know it because I used to work for his camp. My first job in the music industry was working in a recording studio for a guy named Brian Reeves. And Brian was the engineer on many of Giorgio Moroder's great tracks. I got to meet Giorgio, and he's an interesting guy. He made his own car, and I don't mean like he changed the interior like he built from scratch his own car <laughs> and uh it was cool looking too so neat dude and of course i love the never-ending story it's great stuff how could you not i do know of i i think i'm right i know they sang it in english but it was also done in uh i think french so we'll see which version tommy picks together but uh, i'm pretty sure i'm right i think he did it in french too these guys so and bastion's happy fight flight don't know that one. Let's give this a go. Oh, no, I do know that one. It's the dragon. Huh. <laughs>
Okay. So it was in English. There's our answer. And uh, I think the best part of the track for me was actually the drums. I like the fast pace of it and stuff. And it's cool to see Tommy play drums without quick cuts. You know, usually we're focused on either vocals or guitars. So something a little different. I appreciate that. As far as uh, the rest of the track, right? What else to discuss? It was funny kind of to see this where it's not like the end of the film where you have the rock biter and stuff and the title credits and whatnot and the dragon and all that stuff going on. But, but nonetheless, we got a Tommy instead. I like the reading parts of it. The reading parts were a bit fun when I was a kid and I like open a book and read the books. I had a little a thing of chocolate and I used to eat my chocolate. I'm still bad. I have chocolate all over my desk. <laughs> I still, I love it. So... Okay. But anyway, uh, what did you guys eat when you guys read books and whatnot? Or hopefully still read books. I don't know. I should say it better that way, right? We all read so much on the internet now. Not as many of us read novels and stuff. With that being said, I'm almost done with my second book, which is not anything like the first. It's a, it's a little bit different. It's a sci-fi thing that I was just having fun with. Anyhow, I'm now rambling, but that was a good video. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, everybody. And I look forward to seeing everybody on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.